besides being considered two of the best stars in world soccer. Gareth Bale and Luis Suarez are two athletes who know how to multiply their fortunes. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Gareth Bale and Luis Suarez. Cars Both athletes are completely passionate about beautiful cars, but who has the best vehicle? Luis Suarez, for example, has already been seen in a BMW X5, an SUV with an imposing design, which depending on the model and version, can be found for around $75,000. Suarez has also owned an Audi SQ7, a versatile SUV with sporty driving, equipped with a very powerful V8 engine. And in the most modern configurations, this car can top $85,000. A bit more expensive, he has also been seen inside a Range Rover Sport, a robust and elegant SUV. The interior of the vehicle offers plenty of space and comfort and is equipped with very modern items. And that is why the latest models cost around $90,000. The player has also been spotted inside a Cadillac Escalade, a huge car capable of offering a lot of comfort and safety for all its passengers. And to get an idea of the price, depending on the model it can cost around $100,000. The Forward has also owned an Audi RS6, a sports car with a wagon design, capable of uniting comfort and speed in a single vehicle. The machine can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds, and it is no wonder that its price can reach around $115,000. Gareth Bale, on the other hand, has been spotted with cars such as Lexus RX 400h $20,000 Audi Q750 TDI for $56,000 BMW i5 for $67,000 $75,000 Audi A7 Audi Q8 from $75,000 Audi Q8 e-tron from $84,000 Range Rover Sport from $85,000 Audi SQ7 TDI for $90,000 Audi Q7 3.0 TDI Sport from $95,000 Porsche Panamera 4 from $97,000 BMW iX M60 from $110,000 Ferrari FF from $138,000 Audi R8 from $158,000 Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 for $180,000 and even a $220,000 Mercedes SLS AMG. One of the most luxurious cars in his garage is a Bentley Continental GTC, a massively fast dynamic vehicle equipped with an incredible V8 by turbo engine. And to own a car like that, you have to shell out an average of $240,000. Bale was also clicked next to a Lamborghini Huracan, a sports car capable of attracting attention wherever it goes, which stands out for its high level of performance, easily reaching a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. And the car in which the star was seen is valued at $242,000. Some sources also speculate that the Welshman owns a Ferrari GTC for Lusso, a sports car with a V12 engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles in just 3.4 seconds, as well as reaching a top speed of 208 miles per hour. And to own a car like that, you have to shell out around $300,000. And for enjoying more expensive vehicles, Gareth Bale wins this round. Point for him! More expensive property When it comes to investing in a good place to live, both players don't know how to skimp. But which of them owns the most valuable property? Gareth Bale, for example, owns a country estate in Wales, located in the village of Istradawen, in the southern region. The property has become better known in recent years thanks to the construction of three personalized golf courses outside, which are replicas of holes from famous competitions. One of them, for example, is a replica of the 17th hole at Sawgrass, centered in the middle of a lake. In this environment, Gareth Bale usually spends a lot of time training for the competitions he takes part in, as well as having a lot of fun with friends. You can also see that the former footballer's property covers a good deal of land, making it a very private and peaceful place for him and his family to live, enjoying the beautiful scenery in the area. The site also has a residence, but little is known about its interior. According to some sources, the star's country estate is worth four million pounds, but it is likely worth more today, as in recent years it has been reported that he has submitted requests to expand it. 
Luis Suarez, on the other hand, is speculated to own a mansion in a gated community near the city of Madrid in Spain. According to some sources, the player's mansion is in a luxurious and exclusive urbanization known as La Finca, a noble and overpriced area. Searching on real estate websites, it was possible to find a property similar to the one where the player currently lives. Based on this, we can say that the property has something around 8,600 square feet of built area, divided into seven spacious bedrooms and seven bathrooms, a quantity more than enough to house his entire family. An interesting point inside the house is that the rooms have large windows, which provide excellent natural light. And this was in fact possible to prove by seeing some of the player's posts on social networks, where he shared affectionate moments with his children inside the house. In the external area, there is a beautiful infinity pool, which matches very well with the more contemporary design of the residence. It is believed that there is also a gym in the house where he takes the opportunity to keep fit. And it's not news to anyone that to live in this residence, you have to fork out a lot of money. To get an idea of the price, as Luis Suarez appears to have a more expensive mansion, he wins this round. Point for him. Exaggerated Luxuries Both stars have plenty of money to spend on whatever they want, but who spends the most? When it comes to putting together his look, Luis Suarez likes to invest in good watches. He has been seen with a Hublet Classic Fusion King Gold, a beautiful watch with a refined design that can cost around $21,000 and also with an IWC Big Pilots Automatic in stainless steel, another super refined jewel with an even more expensive price, which can be found for something around $28,000. To have fun with his family and also with his friend Lionel Messi, he has been spotted on a luxury yacht known as Inspiration. The Benetti Fast 125 has four floors and is more than 38 meters long, all of this combined with modern and sophisticated architecture. The interior is very elegant and comfortable, with five cabins that can accommodate up to 10 passengers, offering a great experience for all aboard. For when crew members want to relax and enjoy the sea breeze, there are several open-air lounges equipped with modern and ergonomic sofas. If they want to cool off without jumping into the sea, the yacht has a swimming pool at the front and even a whirlpool on the top floor. No doubt this vessel is capable of meeting the needs of the players, and it is no wonder that its price is estimated at around $20 million. But since they probably rented the yacht, it is estimated that it must have cost something around $200,000 per week. When it comes to his outfits, Gareth Bale wears sophisticated watches, such as Cartier Tank Anglaise $20,000, Rolex Cosmograph Daytona $24,000, Audemars Pichuet Offshore Rubber Clad for $25,500 Rolex Yachtmaster 40 Eve Rose Gold for $33,000 Even the Hublet Spirit of Big Bang Mika 10 King Gold is a luxury watch with a skeleton dial and rubber strap, which has satin and polished finishes that give it greater durability and resistance to scratches in water. That's probably why it's priced at around $45,000. Bale also often goes out on the high seas aboard beautiful boats. During his holidays in Marbella in 2015, the star even took the opportunity to venture out on a Yamaha FX Cruiser SVHO, a fast jet ski with a high level of performance, whose average rental price is 450 euros per day. To propose to his wife, Gareth Bale chose the luxurious retreat of Tagamago, a private island in the Mediterranean Sea. The island is 98 acres in size and even has its own lighthouse. The couple stayed in a luxurious villa with a clean design, and among the main areas of the retreat are Open plan living room Five exquisite bedrooms Outdoor dining area A leisure area with a luxury swimming pool And a spa bath with privileged views of the region. To stay in this enchanting location, Gareth Bale had to spend quite a bit of money. According to media reports, the Welshman rented the place for £400,000. And since they both spend a lot of money on their luxurious lifestyles, let's call this round a draw. Points for both. Other properties. Both players have lived in many properties, but who has the most impressive real estate portfolio? Gareth Bale, for example. While playing for Tottenham Hotspur, the player owned a charming, recently modernized mansion in Clarence Gate, in the Woodford Green area of England. Taking a look inside, there are around four reception rooms, a dining space next to French doors, and even an elegant office. 
There are also five cozy bedrooms to accommodate the residents, not forgetting the 150-foot landscape garden outside. According to some sources, shortly after Bale signed for Real Madrid, he decided to dispose of the property, asking for a whopping 2.2 million pounds. While playing for Los Blancos, it is believed that Bale lived in a modern-style mansion in Madrid's exclusive La Finca neighborhood. The property belonged to Brazilian footballer Kaka and is described as a twin of Cristiano Ronaldo's property in the same area. Although there is little information about the property, it has more than 16,100 square feet of internal space and offers many amenities for the player to enjoy daily, such as an indoor pool area and a golf course in the backyard. According to the media, Gareth Bale had to pay around £10,000 a month in rent, and if he ever decided to buy it, he would have to spend a good amount, as the place is valued at £6.5 million. Luis Suarez on the other hand, during his time at Barcelona, is known to have lived in a mansion located in Belamar, a super noble neighborhood in Casteldefels in Spain, where he was also neighbor to other great players, such as his friend Lionel Messi. The player's property is on a large plot of land of approximately 21,500 square feet, which according to satellite footage, has a backyard with a swimming pool and a beautiful green area, something that should no doubt please his children a lot. Although the forward has never opened his residence to the public, in some posts on social networks it has been possible to get to know a little of the property. The outdoor area, for example, seems to be the children's favorite place, where they enjoy all the space to have fun on the green grass and still have a beautiful view of the neighborhood. And according to some sources, Suarez decided to buy this mansion in mid-2015 paying about $3.2 million. But because he has renovated the entire property, it is estimated that today the property is valued at around $5 million. Considering that Luis Suarez owns a more luxurious mansion, he wins this round. Point for the Uruguayan. Aircraft. Both players like to travel in beautiful aircraft, but who has the best means of transportation at their disposal? Gareth Bale has already been photographed, for example, with the Wales national team on a Boeing 737-329 plane belonging to Malif Aero. Designed for short and medium-haul flights, this 109-foot-long aircraft is ideal for traveling on national and international routes, with plenty of space to comfortably accommodate more than 100 people. And it's no wonder that a plane of this class costs around $17,350 per hour to rent. Another plane he has already been able to use is Real Madrid's own aircraft, an Airbus A380 that has been customized by Emirates, the club sponsor since 2013. The aircraft is nothing less than a very luxurious four-engine jet, capable of carrying up to 525 passengers, as well as having a cruising speed of almost 900 kilometers per hour. Among the aircraft's unique features are a bar for players, cozy seats, and round-the-clock air service. On top of all this, each player has a cabin with 2,500 channels to watch, as well as their own non-alcoholic minibar and even a private bathroom to take care of their appearance. To enjoy a jet like this, you have to fork out a lot of money. According to some sources, the club's jet is valued at £340 million, while for those who just want to charter a plane of the same model, you need to spend more than $37,000 per hour. But it's not only on team aircraft that the star has a habit of traveling, as he also likes to show off his private jets. During his return to Tottenham in 2020, for example, it was reported that he traveled in an Ember Legacy 600, an extremely refined executive jet equipped with two powerful engines that allow it to reach a maximum speed of 3,250 nautical miles. Going inside the aircraft, you can see that it offers a lot of comfort for passengers, being able to carry up to 13 people in a luxurious cabin. To fly for an hour in this medium-sized jet, you have to pay around $6,700. Gareth Bale is also believed to own a Cessna Citation XLS Plus, the world's best-selling jet. This is transport with the amenities and comfort of a medium-sized jet but with lower operating costs. To charter such a plane, you have to shell out around $4,000 per flight hour, and according to some sources, the former footballer's jet costs $6.4 million. Luis Suarez, on the other hand, only prefers to hire jets when he needs to get around to different destinations, so it's Gareth Bale who wins this round. Point for him! Business 
Both players know how to diversify their sources of income beyond soccer, but which one has the most lucrative business? Luis Suarez, for example, was a striker who played and stood out a lot playing for the biggest teams in the world, he became a celebrity known worldwide. And it is no wonder that only on his Instagram, for example, he has about 47 million followers. And of course, by having this gigantic visibility, he can take advantage to advertise for various companies and earn good money. Among the brands he has advertised are Samsung, Pepsi, Gatorade, Binance, Budweiser, PS, and many others. Already for 11 years of his career, Suarez was sponsored by the sporting goods company Adidas, having left the company to be sponsored by rival Puma, which has been with him since 2018 and must surely invest a lot of money in the athlete. To get an idea of the value of this contract, according to some sources, the figures of his agreement with Puma are around $2 million a year, not bad is it? And on his Instagram, he has shared in his profile bio a link to the page of the Suarez Complex, a soccer school for children and teenagers. The facilities of the Players Sports Center are all top of the line, with more than 2,000 square feet of built area. And this business has been so successful that the official website alone has more than 30,000 followers. And even his wife Sophia Balbi can earn an income with social networks. This is because she can be considered a digital influencer, having more than one and a half million followers on her Instagram alone, where she also takes advantage of this to advertise. Gareth Bale, for his part, owns a number of businesses such as Eleven's Bar and Grill, a modern sports bar that offers an extensive selection of drinks, various culinary options, live broadcasts of sporting events, and a unique decor full of sports memorabilia. He is also co-owner of Par 59, a restaurant bar with a relaxed and casual space, which also stands out for offering personalized mini-golf courses for fun, located in Cardiff City Center and another in Bristol's Harborside District. In 2020, the football star launched Eleven's Esports, his own esports company. The former player also likes to invest part of his fortune in other ventures, such as luxury car hire company Otto Vivendi and whiskey producer Penderin Distillery. As early as 2022, Gareth Bale decided to launch his own line of beers. But his biggest source of income off the pitch is probably through advertising deals. This is because as one of the best footballers of his generation, he has become known all over the world, currently amassing more than 52 million followers on Instagram alone. And because he is very active on social media, he often signs paid partnerships with famous brands such as Adidas Football, Nissan, Wish, TaylorMade Golf, and PlayStation, among many others. According to some sources, Bale earns around $185,000 for a single post on his profile. Adding up all his sponsorships, it is speculated that the star earns around $9 million a year, and because it's difficult to determine the turnover of each business, we're going to consider this round a draw. Points for both! Net Worth There's no doubt that both footballers have amassed huge fortunes, but who has the biggest net worth? Luis Suarez, for example, back when he was playing for Atletico Madrid, some sources estimate that he was paid around $7 million per season, which while a huge salary, is a far cry from the peak of his career. This is because it was playing for Barcelona that Luis Suarez was really valued, and it is no wonder that at the time of his transfer, he was considered one of the most valuable players in the world, having cost the Catalan team almost $100 million. To get an idea of his income, some sources estimate that he has earned more than $17 million per season, a huge fortune even for a soccer player. And all this income is a reflection of the excellent soccer Luis Suarez presents on the field, and that is why he is considered one of Uruguay's best players in the world. And although nobody knows for sure how much the striker's fortune is worth, some sources estimate that adding up all the income he has ever had in soccer, it is likely that his net worth is around $80 million. Gareth Bale is not far behind. Most of his earnings have come from his career as an athlete, as Gareth Bale earned a fortune in wages while at Real Madrid alone. To give you an idea, his transfer in 2013 alone was made for a record fee of $104 million. In terms of how much he earned per year with the team, his earnings increased as he excelled in competition. In 2013, playing his first year for the club, the Welshman was paid $18.6 million. By 2016, his gross annual salary was already $28 million, while as of 2019, 
Gareth Bale earned $32.9 million a year. But it was playing for Tottenham in 2020 that he received the highest annual salary of his career, estimated at over $38 million gross. However, when he signed for Los Angeles FC in 2022, the star saw a significant drop in his earnings, receiving just $2.3 million in total. This probably influenced Gareth Bale to retire from the pitch at the beginning of 2023, as he earns much more than that from his other sources of income alone. Although nobody knows for sure how much the player's fortune is worth, it is estimated that Gareth Bale has a net worth of around $145 million. And because he has amassed a larger fortune, Gareth Bale wins this final round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we have 4 points for Luis Suarez against 5 points for Gareth Bale, making him the winner of this fierce battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.